From me? Are you trying to give me a big head? You want a makeup tutorial from this almost 36 year old mom with five kids who has aging skin? You want a makeup tutorial from me? You flatter me, my dear, and yes, I will give you a makeup tutorial. <laughs> oh, I am not YouTube worthy by any means when it comes to beauty, but something that you guys should know about me is I used to be a makeup slinger. Yes, one of those girls that you see on Facebook doing Facebook Lives trying to sling and sell makeup, that used to be me. Here's a couple examples. I used to be so bold and had so much fun. I mean, this is with a blue, this was a blue cat eye, like blue eyeliner. I love me some sparkly eyeliner. I didn't usually go a day without eyeshadow, whereas today I hardly ever wear eyeshadow anymore. I was a stay at home mom then just like I am now, but I very rarely ever went a day without being like almost full glam. Bold lipsticks, whatever I wore it. And I was a selfie queen, honey. I I would go, I thought I was like some fashion model, some like beauty model. I would go, you know, I would give you all the bold poses. Now that was a very odd time in my life. Seven years of selling makeup. Yes, MLM, Pyramid Scheme, whatever title you wanna give it, I was that girl. Do I regret that period of my life? No, because in my prime of that time in my life, I was averaging between 20 to $25,000 a month. And that was just, that's not, like that was just me at that prime. <laughs> so I can't say that I regretted it because a lot of that money I still have in savings. Like it did very amazing things financially. However, I retired from that whole gig about a year and a half ago. Um, and a lot of things have changed. <laughs> a lot of things have changed. My makeup routine has changed. Um, but and then also, like, I look back at my Facebook memories and I literally cringe at what I used to post and the type of, I don't know. It was just an odd time in life. However, I'll always be thankful for that time in my life. One, because it gave me so much confidence. I learned how to become um, more secure and confident online in front of a camera. My makeup skills actually got decently good, even though I don't go that bold anymore. But I'll never, I'll never regret that stage of my life, even though it sometimes makes me cringe. But anyways, I'm gonna show you my makeup routine now. And also telltale sign that I was a makeup girly is because I have the right, the lighting. <laughs> like all the makeup girlies had the good lighting. You knew what the good lighting was. But anyways, that's the perk. I still have all my good lighting and I'm going to give you my makeup tutorial, what it is today. And it's going to be a lot different than what it used to be. Now, my makeup back then used to be a lot more heavier because I don't, that was just that time. Like heavier makeup was more in. I feel since COVID, um, more of a natural glowy lighter routine is more in. But just through the stage in life that I'm in right now, that's what I prefer. So it's, it's way different. But I always, one thing that has changed a lot for me since then, since I've gotten older and I've changed up my makeup routine, is I always start with sunscreen. And if I leave my house without sunscreen, I will literally have like a little mini panic attack because I don't have sunscreen on. My mother-in-law just recently had some skin cancer removed from her face. I'm almost 36 years old, so I'm just like way more conscious of the damage to my skin now. But if I have a message to all of you younger ladies out there, start wearing sunscreen now before you hit your 30s. Like, ugh. If only I knew. <laughs> but I love this Costas sunscreen. This is what I've been using. It's a tinted sunscreen. Um, and it kind of, sometimes I wear this like by itself. It acts as like a really good primer, but it essentially is just like a tinted sunscreen. And yes, I just go in and I rub it in with my hands. I feel like it blends best with your hands. And it says on the instructions to blend in with your fingers. Just make sure your face is clean and your hands are clean before you do that. So this is my skin just with the Cossus sunscreen. Um, sometimes I wear it by itself, put on a little concealer and go. Now days that I want a little bit more coverage, I also use the Cossus foundation. This is not sponsored. Like I have no affiliation with Cossus, but I love their products because they're cleaner. 
better ingredients. I feel like they gravitate more towards like that youthful, glowy, natural look, which I love these days. But then also their makeup is skincare infused. For example, this foundation has hyaluronic acid in it um, and a bunch of other like peptides, B5, like it just has skincare infused. And then also this foundation, if you wanna wear it by itself, it is a SPF 25 in the foundation itself. Another thing that I have learned over these years is less is more. For me personally, I'm not here to judge anybody how much, by how much makeup they choose to put on, but I used to think that I used to have to like cake it on in order for it to do its job, when in reality, you don't have to do that. Like the purpose of a foundation is just to like even your skin tone um, and your complexion, and you really don't need a whole lot of foundation to do that. Plus, as an aging woman, <laughs> you have more wrinkles uh, for your makeup to settle into. So I try not to apply as much product so that it doesn't settle into my fine lining wrinkles. But then also I try not to use as many powders these days either because I feel like powders age me personally. So I don't use a whole lot of powders, but usually a little bit of concealer under my eyes. Again, I'm using the Cossus Concealer because it's awesome. Um, and then any like blemishes or anything that I wanna cover as well. Once I have like my base, I like to start adding color and warmth. I'm really obsessed with the Rare Beauty uh, bronzing sticks. These blend so well for me personally, and I'm super lazy. I don't even like wearing eyeshadow anymore, so I usually just plop a little bit on my eyes as well and then just blend all that in. And I like to do that with a brush just to bring in, bring in the color and life back. Again, as a lady who is getting older, I like to use a lot of creams and a lot of liquid makeup. Um, obsessed with this Pixie On The Go blush from Pixie. It's one the only blush I really use right now. And it also blends very nicely as well. I've gotten lazier with my eyebrows over the years. I used to be like super obsessed with the arch of my eyebrows and would always draw them on and make sure every single hole was filled. But I've been gravitating more towards a natural brow as I've gotten older. So I just take the Cossus uh, Air Brow Gel and just brush it through. I have pretty naturally thicker eyebrows, um, but honestly, it's just pure laziness. I don't feel like filling in my eyebrows anymore so i just brushed the brow gel through like i said i don't use a whole lot of powders but i do go in with this rms beauty transparent powder right here with my sponge and i tap it in under my eyes just to prevent my concealer and foundation from settling in but that's really the only place i use any powder is right underneath my eyes and sometimes my chin and my t-zone if it's feeling a little oily but very rarely I like to experiment a lot with different mascaras, but I always find myself going back to this uh, L'Oreal, no, yeah, L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Lift. Uh, I fell in love with this after the whole Michaela drama when she shared it on her page, um, and I've been using it mostly ever since. I do like to experiment with different uh, mascaras, but I have to say this is probably one of my favorites. I used to always wear like super bold lipstick colors. I never really liked lipstick, but it always just completed my look. These days, I'm just popping on a little blush on my lips and calling it a day or a gloss. And there you have it. That is my everyday look. If I'm feeling more frisky, if I'm going out with my husband or whatever, I'll actually put on some eyeshadow and maybe go a little bit bolder. But I feel most confident when I'm wearing like lighter makeup. But thank you for asking. You literally just made my day.